let her fall apart there at the end, didn't I? Howdy, folks. Howdy. Sean Brock here with you. Uh, another just a back-breaking guitar right here. Uh, first, the third Jim Merrill and Company creation we've had on the channel. And the first C18. And you all know that if you put a gun to my head and said live with one guitar, you know I'm going to pick mahogany. So I'm a little bit biased automatically. But this thing speaks for itself. I don't care uh, what type of back and side wood you like. Man, this thing is absolutely just all out war. It's completely uh, a wonderful guitar. Um, I'd like to invite you, if you haven't done so, please subscribe and uh, like, share, comment, all that kind of jazz. If you, if you get anything out of this, we're always posting reviews uh, and such. And this one is, uh, once again, for Dale Owen, Dale's Showstoppers on Reverb. We will put the contact information in the description box. You can contact Dale and discuss this guitar with him to your heart's desire. Uh, he, he lives, breathes, and sleeps guitars. He'll wake up at 2 in the morning and look at guitars. So he'll be more than happy to hear from you. Just see that description box. It is for sale. We'll try a few different things out on it. But this is a 2009 Merrill C18, which is a, a dreadnought uh, mahogany Adirondack spruce. We'll talk all about that. Let's, let's just check out how she sounds in a few different places. Check out that E string on that. See what she does in G here. Got that real tight, uh, grabbing my capo and comment along the way. It's just got that real tight punch. It's just a very, very direct punch that comes out of this guitar. I mean, it's just whap all the way. Try her up May here. <laughs> dynamics you don't have to work hard you know when you're doing runs you, 
you can really just keep the same hand pressure as what you're keeping on the rhythm, um, which is usually the sign of a well-tuned body and somebody that does not over lacquer their guitars. Uh, when you get into something that has a very heavy finish on it, that's when you, you know, you're like, you're like, you know, you got to really bear down. I hate that. I have no use for that. You you don't have that here. You can you can throw those runs in at the same time while you're you know just in between strokes. And you don't have to change your hand pressure. all my talking in the middle. I'm sorry about that. This does really, really well with a capo. There, I'll, I'll just put it as briefly and succinctly as possible. B, the key of B. separation I'm not going to talk I'll, I'll, I'm going to save all this to the end that's the part people skip over anyway isn't it uh, I've fouled us here I don't know why I don't get my Elliot out I'm just here we go That's beautiful, man. Uh, I hadn't took it up there. I, I did cheat on you this week. I got this one in. I was too excited to play it. I got it out and played it and capoed it up. But uh, I don't think I, I hadn't took it past B. So anyway, um, 
Jim Merrill and Company C18 Dreadnought Guitar Forward Shifted Scalloped X Brace in the classic 37 type style. Uh, really nice. Of course, you had the pictures. Uh, really nice Adirondack on this as per usual. The finish is thin. Man, it is thin. There's uh, This guitar was built in 2009. It's not perfect. Um, you know, this is this is in really good condition. Uh, it's not perfect, but, you know, it has been played. It's been owned by somebody who actually can, can and does play guitars. Uh, so in, in that, you get a few little battle dings, uh, and that's how you know the finish is so thin, as you can actually kind of see by the scratches. Uh, really, really nice mahogany, as you would expect from Jim Merrill. Uh, classic, classic style appointments there. I like the pick guard on this too. I like it. I really like it. Uh, you got your uh, ebony button there at the heel in uh, the appropriate position. Uh, mahogany neck, someone... Uh, um, uh, satinized how about that word uh, that's I don't know that that's a correct English word so uh, for my, my European and Asian friends uh, someone has taken the gloss off of a lot of the uh, playing portion of the neck they did it very well it it um, it goes back more higher gloss here by the headstock and up by the heel uh, it's got a really good feel to it, uh, mahogany neck, like I said. Um, this is a fuller neck shape as you get down the neck. Um, I wish I had thought to get some measurements on it, but, uh, you know, if you can play auth Martin Authentics, uh, Collings, Traditionals, things of that nature, uh, this is more reminiscent of that. It's a larger neck. It's not a, not a low oval uh, type Martin neck like they're building now. Uh, classic headstock there. He's got Waverly uh, open back tuners on her. And this guitar, I learned something new. It does have a truss rod. I didn't know that, that uh, Merrill used truss rods, but he does indeed use truss rods. And I was educated by my buddy Jesse Davis. He, He's a wonderful educational resource, and he, he enlightened me to that. Uh, ebony fingerboard and bridge. A lot of saddle. There's a lot of saddle in here. Uh, this thing is set up really low. Um, man, I, if it was 4 64 and 6 64 it would surprise me. But uh, if it's that, I don't think it's any more than that. That's 12th. Uh, the frets are really good condition on this. You don't have to do any kind of worrying about getting a fret job. Uh, and like I said, there's a lot of saddle in it. Uh, so a neck set would be quite a ways, long ways off, I would think, on this instrument. Um, Ebony fretboard and bridge, I already mentioned that. Uh, let's see. That's that's about what I know. 2009, and I looked at the serial number right before we got started, and I've already forgot it. I'll put that in the in the title though. So uh, 316, 314, 316, one or the other. This is a wonderful instrument. It's very dry. This is if you like a vintage guitar sound. Um, I'm talking about a true. Uh, Martin vintage type sound where they get old and after they're old they're they're pretty dry. This thing is as dry as anything. I, I would say this is drier than any modern guitar that I play. <laughs> I mean, it sustains wonderfully. Uh, you do have overtones. I mean, they are there. It's 
especially on that gargantuan E string. <laughs> But it is very dry. I mean, very. Very, very much note separation on this. See how it blends so, but it's so dry. Wonderful guitar. I love this thing. I mean, this is this is just a really good guitar. Jim Merrill is one of the better, uh, you know, and a lot would say the best uh, at building these reproductions. I know that there are people who have been on board with these since back in the late 90s who swear there is nothing else worth looking at. And I don't discredit their opinion. This uh, I've been very impressed with the three guitars that we've had through here. Um, and this is definitely no exception at all to the rule. And it responds really well to a light touch. I mean, you can hammer on it. But it does really, I'm, I'm playing very, very soft. Just dynamic as all get out, and it's got that punch to it, you know, like I say. Just a real tight bang, man. I mean, it's just a, I don't know. It's a, I, I, I started expecting Vander Holyfield to come out or <laughs> something. It's, it's, it's a wonderful guitar. Again, you can uh, check the, uh, the description box to contact Dale Owen on this. Uh, 2009. Jim Merrill and Company, C18 Dreadnought, and you can contact Dale, you can talk to him nice, you can talk to him a little bit mean, he don't even mind, I think he kind of likes it there once in a while, uh, but he'll, he'll hook you up on this, this comes with a very nice uh, Merrill branded uh, case, which looks very similar, to, like a harp tone to me, uh, very nice, uh, he you know, it's, it's not a cheap case. It's not like Silver Creek or something like that. It's it's just a really nice, uh, something that typically you have to spend 500 bucks, 600 bucks to get something like it. So um, 
you know, that's that's uh, original to the instrument, to my knowledge, and it's in good good condition. And the instrument is is in wonderful condition. You know, it's been played, uh, but it's it's solid. One thing I did forget to mention uh, that there is a, uh, I guess there had been a small crack right here at the edge of the, yeah, yeah, right 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 under the fingerboard tongue right there at the edge of the sound hole uh, it has one cleat in it I know Nathan Wright uh, down in uh, Rock Island Tennessee did the uh, did that I mean it was barely visible uh, and and Nathan put a cleat on the inside right there that you can see uh, and also uh, he did did set up on it and did a wonderful job it is low man This is it, I guess, for me, folks. I appreciate it. Again, check the description box. The 2019 Merrill C18, an absolute monster of a guitar. Thank you, and please subscribe, and take care. Mm -hmm.